Hello and welcome to part 26 of my Pokemon Red Gift Lock. In the last episode, we cleared out the Cinnabar Island Mansion and got the key for the game. So we're going to go inside the game. And today, I'm going to show you my knowledge and prowess and all that good stuff uh, on these puzzles. And also fight all the trainers because why the hell would you not fight the gym trainers? Pokemon quiz! So in this gym, in case you don't know, you can answer a quiz question, it'll open the door if you get it correct. If you get it wrong, you have to battle the trainer to go through to open the door. Um, but you can actually choose to do both, fun fact. So, get it right and the door opens to the next room. Oh, this is where it explains exactly that. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into- Oh, Right. Stupid, stupid questions. Yes, it does. But it doesn't- it doesn't! If you put your Caterpie into an evolution screen, it comes out as a Metapod. But eventually it evolves into bo oh, Both answers are right, yes. You see, technically, technically both answers are right and both answers are kind of wrong. Right, oh well, whatever, right. So, I know how they think, but I'm gonna fight this man anyway. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer. In before, he's still called Burglar. Yep, so you didn't go that straight, did you, since you still, your job description is still burglar. Is that your job description? Like, I don't mean if you're a burglar, is that your job description? I mean, like, in Pokemon, is the trainer class basically a job description? Is there a job called youngster? <laughs> For example. Like, it's weird. I think I should be switching my team around a bit. I think I've still got some guys lower level than Magislash, so we'll start training some other people. I think Magislash is a safe lead. There's only ghosts that he can't really deal with. Uh, Kingler. David pretty much walls all water types. So does Pimp. They're both in the same bracket of levels. So, what does he David? Because he's closest to the top. And also because he doesn't miss moves as often. Oh! Oh my god. Right, hang on. How does Guillotine work in Gen 1? How does Guillotine work in. If it's off speed, I'm switching. If it's based on speed, I'm switching. Where's my Bulbapedia app? There it is. Where's my Bulbapedia app? Right, um... Guillotine. There it is. Right, okay. Uh, introducing Gen 1. 30% accuracy and inflicts damage equal to the target's current HP. It will break a substitute if it hits. Will not, any f will not affect an opponent whose current speed stat is greater than the user's current speed stat. Okay, so we need to switch because then we guarantee it won't hit. Um, let me see some stats. 42. <laughs> wow, that sounds low. 104, that's probably faster than the Kingler. Let's go with that. Let's go with that, it's only level 36 Kingler, so it's probably faster. Unaffected. Okay, okay, okay. Really don't want to lose anyone. So I'm banking on PD being right there. And uh, I now can't be hit by Guillotine. Let's get the quick attack in. Just a little cheap shot at the end. Nice. Okay, who's next? Gotta watch out for stuff like that. Okay, Flaps is a good answer to Weeping Bell. So we'll stay in. We'll use the uh, flying type maneuver. What a maneuver! Yes, nice and crit. Well done, Flaps. Well done, sir. Oh, madam. I surrender. Right. Good. Door's gone. I can't help stealing other people's Pokemon. You clearly can, because you just you didn't just steal mine. Wait. Is th are there two questions? Ooh. Oh, no. This one does nothing. Pokemon quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. That's weird how... They managed to mess that up. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, just go back and heal before you take him on. The door stay open. There are nine lead badges. No, there are not. You're a liar. There are eight, in fact. However, before I go through, we've got two trainers to take on. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? I guess pretty hot. Like, pretty, pretty warm. Pretty warm. 
Sorry, sounds like his Hitmonchan. He could have Fire Punch. Do you know how hot Hitmonchan's fists get when it Fire Punches? That that would work. <gasps> could have Fire Punch. Could have Ice Punch. Could have Thunder Punch. All of those are super effective. Why did I stay in? Whatever. It works. It works. It's a one-hit wonder. Machamp. Well, Flaps. Oh, we could have sent in David as well. Oh, well. You know what? Oh, well. They're both in the same level bracket. It's okay. It's not a problem. This thing could have pretty much any of the punches as well. Oh no, wait, they're not they're not TM moves in this gen. If if, if this guy traded them forward into uh, gold and silver, traded his Machoke forward, got it evolved into the Machamp, got the guy to teach him the TMs for the elemental punches, then trading him back, he could have them. And I'm pretty sure that's a thing that could happen. Seal, seal, seal. Uh, David is the answer to all water types. Especially ones that can learn ice moves, because then um, Pimp is definitely out of the question. Oh, we're faster. Oh, we could go for the uh, headbutt flinches. Oh, we got the confusion. Right, flinch fusion. Here we go. Flinch fusion. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, seal. Have we taken a hit yet? I don't think we've taken any damage. Yow, hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Fire, or to be more precise, combustion. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. Okay, so that opened the door. So what, you can choose which trainer you fight? I just gotta check this. Oh no, we took we took a hit with flaps. It's okay. It's okay. Something about I've you can't win I've studied Pokemon totally, completely, something like that. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Well I was looking, but I wasn't reading. I wasn't actively reading your text, sir. So Magislash coming through again. It's very unlikely they'll lead with a ghost type. It's like the least likely typing for them to lead with, that and dragon. Uh, poison type, well that's a job for David, uh, because there's only three of each in this gen. There's only three dragons, right? There's only the Tatina line. Kings are with gen two. Yeah, I think so. Probably completely forgetting someone and you are shouting at me, but hey ho. Amnesia! Oh! Oh! That is better than Withdraw. That is better than Withdraw because that does my special attack and defense. If I can get set up with that and just start water gunning and confusioning, and I've already got quite high defense anyway. Oh, we're onto a winner there. Oh, we are. Uh, Meowth. I suppose David can deal with that. Shall we set up some amnesias? Shall we set up some amnesias? Because this Meowth isn't much of a threat to us. So let's at least double our special stat. Oh my god, can we not get the five crits? Right, thank you. Ask and ye shall receive. Ask and ye shall receive. Stop screeching at me, you horrible little feline. Couldn't think of the proper word for a cat then. Let's do it. Let's do a third one. This is gonna do nothing now I've amnesia'd up. Oh, it's not even super effective in this gen either. Nothing happened. <gasps> it greatly increases, but oh my god. Really? I did not know that. Right. Oh, we're faster. Wow, I mean, I know we're 10 levels higher, but why are we faster? Whatever, I'm not complaining. Goodbye, Meowth. Gloom, perfect opponent. Yes, you could have a grass type move, but grass is special. You are not going to kill me. And you're not going to live a hit if I go first. So, goodbye. Goodbye! Wow, my studies! Yeah, screw your studies. Next! We're still not taking enough hits for me to feel like I can justify going back. Pokemon quiz! Get it right in the door! Okay, da 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 da. <laughs> Poliwag evolves three times. No Pokemon evolves three times. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. However, I still want to fight this guy. I just like using fire Pokemon in before he has no fire Pokemon. I love how I'm leading with my Scyther in the fire gym, by the way. But, you know, randomizers are good. Oh, okay. Flareons. Not that good in Gen 1, to be fair, because it's a physical attacker. Wow. I was like, can I one shot this thing? Yes, I can. Dun, 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 Too hot to handle, he said, as he lost. Right, next doer. Next doer. Hello. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Okay. Our thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon. 
No, they are not. They are completely ineffective. Unless you watch the anime and it lies to you. I know why Blaine became a trainer. I know that I don't particularly care why Blaine became a trainer. I'm just here for the badge, not the history lesson. I'm just here for the badge, not the history lesson. Another Flareon. Well, we know we can one-shot a level 41 Flareon. Oh, the fire... Since I made the joke about them not having any fire types... Oh, it lived! Okay, and it didn't use a fire move. Ooh, what a mistake to Mecha. Got the crit, though. Oh, no. It whips his tail back and forth. It whips his tail back and forth. I didn't feel it was that much of a risk. Isn't it like 90 or 95% accurate cut? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, two trainers in a row with the exact same Pokemon. Exact same team. Feeling pretty... Feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so they don't challenge you. Next. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Are not identical. So double negative. No would mean they are identical. So yes. And then we'll battle this. Is this last guy? Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? Wait. Oh no. One more. I was thinking that didn't look a lot like Blaine. Alright. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favourite. Yeah, I can't imagine a fire type trainer would fit in well in any of the other gyms. Not in Kanto, anyway. Maybe he's, like, travelled across... You fit well in Misty's gym, but maybe he's travelled across, like, unrandomised. Maybe he's travelled across regions. And he's like, yeah, the fire gym in whatever area was okay, but, you know, the Kanto one's where it's at. Electro... I'm, I'm just going to go to Nappy and defend against the self-destruct. Like, I'm just going to play purely defensively against this self-destruct. Oh, well, that's super defensive because we get the hypnosis, but, like, I was just like, I'm not getting taken out by a self-destruct at this stage in the game. No way. At any stage in the game, preferably, but I have the choice to never get hit by a self-destruct at the moment. So I'm going to try and take it. Right. Lovely. Get rid of that electrode. I think we should fight. Yowza, too hot. I love all the uh, hot references because we're in a fire gym. Basic puns are basic. Okay, so we'll take on the last trainer, then we'll go and heal, and then we've got... <laughs> TM28 contains Tombstoner! Oh, I wish it did. That'd be such a good name for a move. Like, imagine if that was like the... Uh... Fire is weak against H2O. Like... A Z move that could be a could have been a Z move in Sun and Moon as a reference. That'd have been amazing. That'd have been so cool. And you could've you could have actually like the Pokemon doing it could have actually picked up the other Pokemon and dropped it on its head. Like a tombstone. That'd be so cool. This thing could have a flying type move. I hope we one shot. We should. We don't, oh dear. Okay. I'm willing to risk this. Okay, I shouldn't have been. Oh come on, really? We're gonna play this game? We're gonna play this game? Got ya! Got him! So even if Magislash is the best bet for this battle, we need to switch out now because of the accuracy drops. Kadabla! Yeah, we can wall the hell out of you with David. And we can headbutt you. And it'll hurt a lot because you're feeble. Defensively, anyway. Physically, defensively feeble. Psybeam! Not going to do a lot, I don't feel. Nope. Not very much at all. Get headbutted. Oh, it lived! Wow. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Oh, I went for the cocky water gun, forgetting that this thing can learn recover. Oh well. Do you know what? I'm pretty sure a headbutt from any range will knock it out, so even if it recovers again, we're good. Like, it did so much. Oh, we're confused. Oh, wonderful. We got through. I was going to say, it did so much, I'm sure even if it recovered, another headbutt would kill it. Oh, snuffed out. Ah, see, fire puns again. Okay, so now we're at Blaine. Yeah, there he is. It's weird because Blaine is not a fat man, but his overworld sprite is. It's so strange that he's just got that overworld sprite. Okay. So, hoping for only one layout change in this episode, which is adding the badge. Certainly don't want to lose any of my team members. I think we should be okay in here. I think we're pretty much on par, to be honest. Like, I think Magislash is on par with Blaine's ace. So, we should be okay. Ha! I am Blaine. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have a burn heal. That classic meme. What a meme. You are a meme, sir. Look at his alien head. 
going on with him? He looks so weird in Gen 1. Oh, he's got a Growlithe! He's actually got a fire type. That's not that's not great, actually. Okay. Slash. Beautiful. Magic Slash, I knew you could do it. Beautiful. Next. Omanite! Uh, uh, I reckon this is where we try and set up with David. David walls these sort of things. So I reckon we try and set up with David. Oh, it's faster! Oh! Not often David's faster than anything. Don't lower my defense, that's rude. I'm trying to set up. Horn attack. Oh, the, the tactics. Lay horn attack, new meta. Bet you got. Wow, that was that was good strats as well. <laughs> right, so we use three of them. I think that might be max. Oh, oh, it's a crit! A crit does less! Chris, crit does less at this point. Stop critting! David, you're not fast enough to get crits! Ridiculous. Right, whatever. We got it. We got through. The Drio. Right, please don't crit, David. Crits are rude and not necessary. There we go, look at that. No crit, one shot. Easy. Easy peasy. Spiro! What an ace! Level 47 Spiro. Faster! What? There's something screwy goes on when you change your stats in Pokemon Red. There's something screwy happens. There's no way David is faster than a Spiro of a higher level. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Thanks. HA! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Hey, you can have this too. Right, this is usually Fire Blast, but it's growth. What does Growth do in Gen 1? Is that basically Amnesia? Again. Because they haven't split it yet. Hmm, maybe someone else could get set up. Who else have I got that's like, special minded? Uh, no one really. I mean, Nappy, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not a great move for the rest of my team. I've got a very physical team, actually, I've just noticed. Right, okay. So, as Twas pointed out to me, but I missed a bit. I missed a bit of map. I'm going to spend the rest of today's episode. I'm not going to give you two badges in one episode, guys. No, 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 no. I'm going to spend the rest of today's episode clearing out Cycling Road. And then once we're done... Oh, this... Oh, hang on. This guy gives you something. If you surf across to him, this guy gives you something. Hey, buddy. Hello there. I've seen you, but I never had a chance to talk. Here's a gift for dropping by, TM41. We need all the TMs we can get at the moment, because RTM look is pants. Bone Club! Not terrible. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. I'm not going to worry about using it just yet. Okay, so... Yeah, I need all the money I can, and then I'm going to... Hopefully, I might wait until after Giovanni, but I'm going to uh, try and... buy every TM. I might do it with, like, uh, load states, you know, like save states and load states, and, you know, only end up buying the good ones. But, uh, yeah, I think it'd be good to, uh, I think it'd be good to have a look at what all the TMs are and potentially use some to our advantage. So we've still got a Snorlax in the way, a randomised Snorlax. Can't even remember what the last Snorlax was now, it's been so long. We'll get Magic Slash to 50 before we switch him from the front. I'm okay with I'm okay with getting a little bit ahead with Magic Slash. With a big yarn, Nidorino return to the mountains. Excuse me, wait up please. What's he doing in the wall? Oh, have I not got the bike? There's there's isn't there like a glitch to get through there? Oh, you know what, whatever. Whatever, I'm not even gonna worry about the glitch because I don't know it off by heart. I'm just gonna go get my bicycle. In the Pokemon Center. Move. Move. Oh. Why would you stand there? Move. Move your donut. Move. Ah. 
Ah, there we go. I hope you guys are enjoying this riveting episode of Pokemon Red. What in tarnation was that about? Just stood there. I'm in the way. <laughs> right, um, let's stick some more items. We don't need the secret key anymore. And we don't need the TMs yet. Okay, cool. Right. Move! God, woman. Right, anyway, onwards! Oh, hello. Woo! Yeah, you can't stop me now. Ain't no stopping me now! What do you want? I want a battle. When do you want it? Now! Creek says desk. Creek says desk. Do, 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 do. Sit down, horsey. Horsey? It's a good lead, Magislash. It's a safe bet against most Pokemon. It's not a safe bet against the Zapados. A Zapados. However, we do have a Dragonair, which should pretty much teach this thing who's daddy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice and crit. That was a crit. Dragonair, you gotta, like, step your game up. Oh, if that was a crit on level 29 bird that's just been electrocuted. Like, Zapdos on Gen 1 literally looks like a bird that's in the process of being electrocuted. Like, and someone caught a snapshot of it. It really does. Nice bike, hand it over. No can do, buddy, I'm not allowed here without a bike. Don't you know the rules? Don't you know the rules? Cubone! Oh, oh Q-Ball, not Cubone, that's a Pokemon. Oh, flashbacks to that episode. What was it, 24? Oh, it's just Legendary Bird Central over here, isn't it? Please knock it out, Magislash, because it's going to have Ice Beam or something. Thank you. 49. Nice. Nice. Q oh, look! <laughs> it's a Cubone. That's, a That's nice. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Shall we uh, get a couple of Amnesias up? Growl! That's okay, I won't be using physical moves. And Q bone, bone, bone. We might as well, yeah, it's great level, so we might as well get all three um, amnesias up. Because that's just OP! Lowering our defense, though. Goodbye. There's a chance we outspeed things around here, though, unless it's a particularly fast Pokemon, with them being only in the like, mid to late 20s level wise. Chance we outspeed them. David, level 45! Clefairy! That's not going to be fast. We outspeed that. We one-shot that. We one-shot that. Unless we get a crit. Lovely. Ding, 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 ding. Knockout! No, 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 knockout. Is there a... I feel like there's an item over here somewhere. No? No item. Mm -hmm. Just there to round out the route then, I guess, that area. Come out and play, you little mouse! Cue ball. In before, this has got to be a cue ball, hasn't it? Yeah. You can kind of tell with most of them from what they say. Because they've got the same overworld sprite, the bikers and the cue balls, but you can kind of tell who's going to be which. Oh, sit down! Drio. I don't know why I stayed in. Not because it was a bad move, I just mean because that's what I've generally been doing is fighting the first Pokemon Magic Slash, then switching, so I can share the love. But never mind, you little rat. So apparently I'm not a mouse anymore, I'm a rat. Hey, you just bumped me, so this is a biker. Probably. There we go. Pikachu! Right. So this is not going to live up to a slash. This is not going to survive a slash. So we're okay with the type disadvantage. Might be his only mon as well, because it's a few levels higher than everyone else around her. Yeah. I don't really notice how many Pokeballs are lit up usually. Kaboom! And just kind of wait until I've killed the first one to find out. I did not read that text. That was itching my face. <laughs> the best excuse ever. Cue ball, ball, ball. Another Pikachu. Another level 33 Pikachu. What are the odds? Like, that's happened twice in this episode. Two people right next to each other. 
with only one Pokemon in the party have both had the same Pokemon, like two pairs. So we had two with Flareons in the gym, and then we've had two with Pikachu, so bad, bad, bad. Right, I think I'm... I mean, we're powering through this, but sure, I'll go. We might not get all of Cycling Road done in this episode, so we might, like, start ne next week's first episode by uh, finishing Cycling Road. I don't know, we might finish it. I don't know. We're, we're making good time, to be honest. We're tanning three trainers because we're such high level. So, you know, it's, it's all good. But, um, worst comes to the worst, we'll finish it off next week. We can, uh, we can definitely amnesia up with David here. And then sweep. Faster, wow. Ember, that's going to do loads, that. Look at that, loads. <laughs> Quick attack doesn't do any more, though, to be fair. Sand attack, that is the counter. You swine. Yes. It's only one sand attack. I think we can cope with three amnesias up and only one sand attack. I think we can cope with that. Magneton. I reckon we can take this. Electric's special, so it's not going to hit me hard if it hits me. It's a oh, oh, you know what? We can eat like seven sonic booms before it becomes a problem, so. Oh, come on. Okay, now we can eat. Now we die on the seventh one, total. But it's dead. Nice and crit that we didn't need at all. Moltres! Oh, that's the set complete! Oh my god! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool, that. I like that. That's pretty cool. I'm not against that. Don't make me mad. I'll try not to, mate. Should we go back and heal soon? Right, so now it's the downhill bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the right. I'm sure there's a hidden item. Is it on this? I don't know. Maybe I'd be better off going up and clicking A. Oh, look, wild Tauros. I will enjoy killing you. I hate Tauros. I don't think there's much occasion for going back and healing yet. There's not been anything that's been like a massive threat. Okay, so this guy's seen me, taking his time getting over here. What do you want, kiddo? I want the hidden item in this class. I bet it's on the patch he's stood on. I bet it's there. Oh, I forgot to carry on calling, like, what I thought each trainer would be. Never mind. Never mind. We must be nearly level 50 by now. We've just been cutting through Pokemon. Like, literally cutting through them. Slashing through them, in fact. Dratini! Well... It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Once again, Pimp, show it who's daddy. <laughs> it like looks a little this time though, it's like a grown up version. You got you had to train it one more level and you, you had this majestic creature instead of that little weird worm thing. Whoa! I went way further south than I was expecting there. I forgot I was on the downhill. Oh well. Let's do this. Snap. I have one of them. This might not kill. Slowbro is beastly defensive. Ooh! Ooh! Close. Well. Might as well save PP. Cut this thing. Ghastly. Yeah, we're definitely not staying in. We're there. With Magic Slash, with only normal type moves. If we get down to only might Imagine this as the ending to the series, guys. We get taken down by the Elite Four to only Magic Slash and then Lance. Oh, no, Blue, for his ace, has a Gengar. Oh, a Ghastly, just to be ultra insulting. It's like not even a good. Not even the best ghost. I was going to say not even a good ghost, but I like Gastly. But you know what I mean? Not, not like, statistically the best ghost. Right, I can't be bothered looking for that hidden item. There's no money in fighting kids. Don't do it then, idiot. Idiot. If that's your focus, is earning money from Pokemon battles, don't fight those that you say don't give you much money. I have loads of money, by the way. I, I take offense at that. 
Can we get level 50 on Magislash? I mean, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'd take that. I'd take a level 50. There it is! Yeah! Sandslash! Hello, David! Right, this thing might have Slash. So, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna mess about. I'm just gonna kill this thing. Two shots. One shot. Wow. Okay. Okay. I was expecting that to be two. Oh, that was his last Pokemon anyway. No point in setting up. Didn't even realise. Didn't even realise. Oh. Yeah, look at that level 50. Go on, nap it up to the top. Do some work. Yeah, there's someone. I was going to say what else is going on down here. My Pokemon won't evolve. Why? This has potential to be fun, to be fair, it's randomised. Pidgeotto. It's because it's not high enough level yet, mate. Like, <laughs> there you go, I told you it had fun, potential to be fun. There we go, get to sleep. Get to sleep. Can you hit Nightshade in this gen? I always forget, I always forget how moves like that work gen to gen, because it changed. Certain things changed. Like, I know, um... Struggle. Doesn't hit, is a normal type move on Gen 1, doesn't hit ghosts. So you can't, like, struggle your way through the Elite Four because Agatha's got ghosts. Obviously, talking on a normal game that's not randomised. Hello! I love how you don't have to press a button on this part. You just, like, just keep rolling downhill. It's fine. Clefairy! Fairy! Should we, you know what? This isn't much threat. Should we test out a Nightshade? Oh yeah, we've got 18 now. I forgot we used PP up on it. Yes, Nappy. Yes, it hits as well. Double Slap doesn't know. In your face, Clefairy. Night Nightshade with an extra three hits is going to come in really useful. See you, see you. Uh, David Walls Waters. David Walls Waters. Gmail.com Oh, we got the flinch. Oh, we got the flinch. It's not often we get to play for the flinch with David. But we do at the moment. We do at the moment. Arr! Speak like a pirate day was a while ago, dude. Oh, okay. You know what? Since that's now central. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to fly back with Scott. And actually, this is a good opportunity to uh, end this episode. We're going to heal up, fly back and heal. And then next episode, we'll go down the other side of Cycling Path. And that'll uh, keep y'all off my back for missing it out. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like. Don't forget to answer the comment, the, the comment, the comment question of the day. Which I don't think I've uh, asked yet. If I remember correctly. Uh, what's your favourite... Static encounter that's not a legendary. So across all the games, like you've got the Eevee in, in Celadon, you've got the Snarlax encounters. Uh, the Marowak could kind of count, although I don't think you can catch it. But I never said you had to be able to catch it. But what's your favourite Pokemon that you can encounter statically in any game? It doesn't have to be Gen 1. I was just giving Gen 1 examples because look at what's on your screen, guys. Come on, common sense. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. What's your favourite static Pokemon in, the, in any Pokemon game? Uh, and I suppose anything you can get guaranteed, you know, like, like, there is a chance, it's a very, very slim chance, but there is a chance you could go through a Pokemon game without encountering a wild Pidgey, for example. It's a very slim chance, because it appears on a lot of routes and it's common, but there's a chance, whereas, if you go to the place where there is a Snorlax, well, if you want to complete the game, I think you have to fight a Snorlax, at least one. Uh, but, like the Eevee, if you go there, you there's no chance you can tap on that Pokeball and not get an Eevee. So that's kind of what I mean by a guaranteed static encounter. So I suppose things like the um, fossils and stuff would count. But what's your favourite static Pokemon? You decide how you qualify it, but what's your favourite static Mon? I've asked you that about seven times now. You better answer! Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time!